This is title pending. That's all I know. So let's find out more. You've been selected to playtest our, our new game. Hello, I'm Matthew Stanton and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. You've never mind. Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. Today, you'll be playtesting my first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've been working on here for a few months. While you play, I'll be giving background information on development process and some of the challenges me and my team faced. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so maybe like a Stanley Parable kind of thing going on? Hello? Like a, I think it's like a scan line that's just going through as part of the game. It's a bit nicer for me to look at than it is for everyone else to look at. Hopefully. If I... Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I can't adjust settings unless I go to the menu, so we'll see how it is. Everybody can tell me if it's dealable or not. The orange box. That's the name of the, um, you know, the thing. The thing with the half-life in the portal. Camera looking at me. Lovely. Broken phone. Dog. Elevator's broken, lovely. I'm Will Stanton. What was his name? James Stanton or something. No, I can't drink it. It's quite a loud vending machine. Let's just turn the music down just a smidge. Or I guess the master volume down just a smidge. Welcome to JMC Enterprises. This lobby area ah. was actually based off a hotel near our studios. We had to take some reference images of the inside, but mid-shoot we got kicked out for loitering. We got enough photos to recreate it though, so whatever. Yeah, fair enough. What's going on with this? It's like a half of a bicycle. Ah. Uh, out of order. Contact if you need to print something. No, we do not have an IT department. This is an apartment. Well, this is a, a something. There's no button to crouch yet. Okay. Delicious cereal. What? Why, why would you eat somebody's cereal? I got an achievement, so I have a feeling that was maybe an Easter egg or something. Egg busters. And you're one of these doors is lit. What's this? It's just a person? Stood up. That's fine. How do I isn't this a puzzle game? How do I end up in somebody's room? Welp, you made it to the end of the first level. I did Congrats, it! Congrats, I guess. Alright, well... I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a tad underwhelmed, though. Not by any fault of your own, of course, but, uh... Look, I'll just be straight with you. You're the only person who signed up to playtest, so... Thanks for playing, I guess. Alright, just give me a second, I'll close the game for you. Oh. Game.tp, run command... Close game. Uh, that's weird. Not sure why the game isn't cl closing, but I guess you can. This isn't good. Ah, 
very Stanley Parable then. Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. Let me out, Matthew. Today we'll be playtesting the first level of an experimental puzzle game that we've been working. Sorry, all... I lost my train of thought there. It's all a bit weird, isn't it, Matthew? Anyway, let's get started. So we've had the the like I and then dash and then the I, and then we also have like this, which almost looks like a circuit, and this is just a line. Alright, so if I treat this game like Stanley Parable, I'm sure I'll be fine. The supply closet is now off limits due to recent incidents. Thank you for under your understanding and management. Very well. All of this is still broken. Elevator still broken. Ooh, we can go in here now. Alright, well. Have we fixed the elevator? We have! Did we fix the other thing? Isn't there a circuit box somewhere here? Here? Or is this not? Maybe this is not related. I can't sprint! I keep forgetting I can. But we're here now. Okay, I'm just gonna go completely against what I'm supposed to do here, but you are not going the right way. At all. I didn't even know there was an elevator in the level, so the fact that you're going up it probably means it isn't supposed to happen. So How do you know I'm going up? Maybe go we're back going down, down when it gets to the top, please. Y yeah, that's probably bad news. I'd go back down. Small drawings, bigger clock, just different sized textures of things, glasses. That looks like it might be important. Not that I would know or anything. I actually wouldn't. I'm just the narrator. Much of alarms going Alright, I've now resigned to the fact that you're probably not going to stop going this way. So fine. It's your job as a playtester to find stuff we didn't expect, so keep going. Hmm. What do the signs mean? It only lets me order out the yellow ones. Well, this looks ominous. I did it! Wait, the end? This isn't the end, though. There's still two more levels you're supposed to complete. I mean, unless the other developers change something without telling me. Which, to be completely honest, wouldn't surprise me at this point. You, you should be on the most recent version of the game, and none of this was here before. The game files came straight off of my computer earlier this morning, and I can personally assure you that this is not the end. Why would it just end here? <sighs> you know what? There's not really much that left in this level anyway, and it's not super important, so we can just skip to level two. Yes! Map level underscore two. Okay, level two is an opening. Great. Level three it is. There's nothing else could go bad during this. Let me try this. Oh, nice. Can't use cheat commands unless the server has SV cheat set to one. It is true in Source Why Engine games at the very least. We don't even have servers. <sighs> okay, let me just get this straight. You turned on power to an elevator that I was not aware of. I'm sorry. Then took said elevator to an area I was not aware of. Very then sorry. Then went into a room that I was not aware of, where there was a message that is not only verifiably not true, but that I was also not aware of. Wow. The end. Hmm. How could all of this have been created without me knowing? Like like I said before, all of the game files came off of my computer this morning, right before you got here. And all of this wasn't in the level when it was. Was this added before? No, no. It couldn't have been. I would have noticed it. So all of this had to have been added this morning. I, t I tell you what, I'm you accept a git push, this is what happens. I have to have a time machine to be able to add all of this or be faster than light. Or we'd have to be inside the game, but that's probably the stupidest thing. My eyes! You don't let me leave. 
and there's that hypnotiz hyp hypnotism thing behind it. Okay, that definitely just broke something, so I'll assume I was on the right track with that line of thought. I guess the game doesn't like self-awareness. So uh -huh. we, are, we are in the game. Hmm. Either that or it's just a very conveniently timed glitch, but I doubt it. How does being inside of a game work? I mean, I guess I, I should know since I'm in one apparently, but it seems normal so far. Well, as normal as this is, I mean. I'd ask you what you think, but you're not exactly the most talkative, so I doubt I'd get an answer. Why are we even in the game to begin with? And better yet, where do you come in all this? You're supposed to be playtesting a game that I made, but if I'm inside of it, then how could I, one, create the game that you're playing, and two, contact you to even play it? It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, Did someone else at JMZ contact you? Are you playtesting a game where you play as a playtester? Or are Matt. you just playing? Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you shouldn't be even be in this game to begin with. I've scanned through JMC Enterprises files countless times and you're not listed anywhere. So not only have you broken our con confidentiality agreements, you've also broken the entire game. So thanks for that. Oh, I can zoom. That's kind of cool. I figure the main reason you're still here is because you're curious about the happenings around you. Oh, yes, I can walk. That's a fair excuse. However, your contin ow, continued existence here is troublesome. I cannot allow Stanton to become aware of the current situations. So since I doubt I'd be able to keep you out of here if I tried, I'll give you a choice. can either leave with right now, forget everything you saw here, and never come back. Or you can stay here forever. Regardless of which you pick, the outcome isn't going to change much. But take it from me, that just leaving while you have the chance will leave will be much better for everyone involved. However, if for some reason you still decide to remain here and fruitlessly try to gain something from it, then be my guest. But it would be greatly appreciated if you could heed these words for next time. Don't meddle with things you don't fully understand. Continue as if nothing happened here. And please, behave yourself. Okay. I feel like that was a, just an intro sequence. I'm not really sure what the rest of this means. If I'm honest. Am I back in the room? Every day I take a poop. Hi, my net. Ah. Did something just happen? I, f I thought we were... It's a bit weird well, you narrating while I'm in the toilet, mate. Sorry, my name is Matthew Stanton and I'm the uh, lead developer. Let's get started. Alright, well that was ominous.
So you you're deciding to stay. Fine then. Let the games begin. Did something just happen? Nah. Uh, what's what's something new I can try? What does this say? The elevator is currently out of order. It was never in order. Thank you for your understanding. Management. I don't know why I put a robot voice on it. I think I just assumed. Also, there's no door here anymore. It's a dog. Lovely. One more, please. I'm a little bit thirsty. I triggered the music. That's all I wanted. All right, I'm in the vent. Die hard time. How is the, how is it still running? There is no electricity. Why didn't we just tell Matt? He probably wouldn't have cared. I can hear Matthew talking, and he isn't being take it, taken. Is he working with it? The vents aren't safe. Where is room 233? It's gone. 233. Matthew is def definitely getting fired after this. Why? He did it. If anybody else puts this, put your name here. Abbott, Nick, CCF. Why am I even counting? And it's a dog with a cape. And there's I blame something, to be honest. More pictures of animals. Cat. Oh, I put my name. Nim. Not a bad shot, to be honest. Ah, oh, 235. Log 4. You know, it's funny. You'd think that a near omnipotent AI would be able to see inside ventilation shafts, but apparently not. I literally helped code the thing, and I don't ever remember putting that kind of limitation. Lucky break, I guess. The way that everyone's memory gets wiped seems inconsistent. I was hiding in here with Nick for a couple of loops, but he insists that he w was only here once. And on the flip side, I only remember Owen being here twice, but Nick says he's been here four times. Oh look, they're friends. But what does it mean? Alright, so the vent is a safe place from the AI, good to know. Hey. I wasn't doing anything, I promise. We actually base this on a hotel. Wait, level two? Level two. Since when is there an alternate path to level two? Why would we even have that? Hold on, just ignore that for now. Go finish level one, and we can come back to this later. No. I don't know where Owen is. After Nick went to find room 233, Owen kept trying to convince me to help him look for him. But I said I wouldn't even though, even know where to start. I tried to get some shut-eye, or as close to sleep as you can get here. And when I woke up again, Owen was gone. I'm alone now. Another elevator! Or just don't listen to Ooh. me, that's cool. Look, Matt, there's some weird shit going on here. I'm running out of ideas, please help, I still have a hundred more to go. Just it just it, use the clock texture and just use it a hundred times in varying oh, scales. Oh wait, I recognize this. This was the original way that level two was supposed to start. Yeah, and you'd go through that elevator and then you'd go through here to an overlook. And, okay, look, point is, this was scrapped a while ago, so I'm not sure how it got here. I, I know what these there. are. These are placeholder boxes that you would put in games before the textures were originally done, so that you could basically get the level design all ready to go and then you add on the textures later. Um, so that you could code things like pathing, for instance, without having to wait. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. What's in here? Nothing. What is this, creative juices? Ew, gross. Hey, I guess that did lead to level two. Well, actual level two, not the old one. Anyway, just play as normal. What do you mean play as normal? This is the furthest I've got. Another orange box. 
Mental LLC, Miss Missileness, Misliness, and Residue Services. Have you ever been left with an amount that is just too much, so much that it is just physically impossible? Ah, oh, there we go. Contact Mental LLC for all the miserliness and residue services. And then there's a big arrow, and then something happens. Here we go, the first puzzle! This may take a little while for you to complete. We've designed hundreds of concepts for it, and it's been carefully crafted to be one of the most challenging puzzles in video game history. I don't mean to hype myself up or anything, but I think I did a pretty good job. Best of luck. Okay, so we move this here, and then I walk across and go down. And if I walk across the grates, I can also get access to... Congratulations! This. Oh, it's not You are now in the 0.00001% of gamers who were capable of completing that puzzle. Hooray! Or probably capable. After all, you're the only person who's played it. That's true. Wait, did I tell you that already? Yes. Optimization is for losers. Losers, 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 oh. losers, losers. Interesting. Is this a fake crash? Uh huh. Yep. I know a fake crash when I see one, especially when I'm recording at the same time. Go to the elevator. Lost pet named Captain T. Miller the third. 70 centimeters, 2.6 kilograms, age 26 in human years. Description, purple, last seen wearing a captain's hat in his hen boat. If you have any information, please call plus three five nine two four three two, And then other numbers. Oh, the newspaper's free. Go to the elevator. Which way's the elevator? This way? Nope. Why would you have an elevator? Why do you... Oh, I guess this is the elevator, but it needs to come down first. Oh. oh. There's no button to jump. I may have made an error. Well. Stop writing about room 233. I'm tired of seeing it. 2333. Game of knots and crosses, or tic-tac-toe. Please can we go 4x4? Four four? I'm tired of always losing. How are you this bad? I think TB can see us here. There isn't a camera, so we should be fine. Does TB even need a camera to see us, or is it just for effect? I can't sleep. He's evolving the meta. So I have to do an X over a naught. TB is deleting us. It's not deleting us. It doesn't have the permissions to. Implying TB... Is that a green text post? Implying TB actually cares about permissions at this point. Stop swapping pens, it's confusing. Why is Matthew so loud? I don't know. We're in 235. Dave gave me an idea. Instead of trying to count the restarts with our memory, which is being wiped constantly, maybe we could do it with some kind of electronic device inside the loop. It probably won't be perfect, but it'll be better than what we have. Guess it'll give me something to do in here. What if that's what this is? 233 times or something? 235 times even. Remember, you're replaceable. Welcome to Splat Fridges. Take the hammer. <gasps> Toilets! And other such amenities. Danger. Report unusual behavior. Oh, well, that's pretty unusual. Get to level 3, don't get caught. Hammer! Such power in my hands. Wonderful. When it says don't get caught, what does it mean? Metaphorically? Actually? Oh, there you are. I uh, lost you for a second. Yeah, no worries, mate. Is that among us? Anyway. Time to break my legs. No, I'm fine. What's in here? Absolutely nothing I need to worry about. 
front desk. Renovation work. Do not enter work area unless authorized. No smoking, eating, or let's players. All right. Well, that's me out. Wouldn't even let me in if I tried. I knew I shouldn't have taken up smoking. All right, you made it to the van. This next part is going to be a driving section. To steer, it's the same controls as walking, and to shoot, it's the left mouse button. To shoot? You'll need to shoot at the guys with toilets in their back seats and... Oh my god. Oh, did they forget to put gas in the van again? <sighs> okay, we're just going to have to skip that for now. Sorry. Let me open level three. I was really looking forward to that. These run commands almost never work. Oh, all right, we should be loaded. I told you. Was that toilet simulator? Oh my God. Where's my Hi, hammer? My name is Matthew Stanton. I know. I feel like you're getting sick of me talking, so I'm just going to be quiet for a bit. Oh, all Wait, right. Wait, how do I know that? What's this? Supply closet is closed. Wonderful. There is no elevator. There's no electricity box there either anymore. Hmm. The real question is, where else can we go? Maybe we just proceed as normal and see what happens. What was it room two, three, three? There is no room 23. 232. 234. It would be here, wouldn't it? Is this just the regular end? Well, you made it to the end of the first level. Okay, this is right, just. Just give me a sec and I'll close the game for you. Yep, thanks. Weird. Not sure why the game isn't closing, but I guess you can. Okay, so this is just the regular ending. And I'm back. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Three, two, one. Was he doing a clean take? Like counting down to like three, two, one, and then use this. The supply closet must be free now. And the electricity stuff is back. Uh, nope, never mind. Well. Okay, none of this has changed. I think. Yeah. So we just have to keep going where we were going, but then don't end in an ending. As weird as that might be. This lobby area was actually I know. a hotel near our studios. We had to take some reference images of the inside, but mid-shoot we got kicked out for loitering. We got enough photos to recreate it though, so whatever. Crucial puzzle elements are hidden among the tips. Consider leaving and re-entering a level to freely view them. Are we, are we loading something new this time? No, I guess not. Quantum. And then this was the one really easy level. If I can complete it before he talks about it, maybe? He's not even going to talk about it. Interesting. Front desk. Oh, okay, I can keep, I get out from around here, which is good. That was the level to go to level three. That's the face. Can I go back anywhere? I can. Interesting. I have free room. Apart from there. Can't free room in there. Good to know. And this is now different. That's employees only. Okay, good. That's all the same. I'm finding stuff out. I'm investigating. 
we'll see in what's the what and who's the who. Egg Busters, season five. If I can find that hammer, I can crack an egg again. Toilet simulator. They won't let me go in. Hmm. All right, you made it to the van. This next part is going to be a driving section. To steer, it's the same controls as walking, and to shoot, it's the left mouse button. You'll need to shoot at the guys with toilets in their back suits. Okay, this is different. Okay, just put me straight back okay, in the bathroom. You can start playing now. But I'm not in level three. What is this? Supply closet? Hmm. What do we do? What's what's gonna be different? That's probably the supply closet. the vent. I feel like that's probably the way we need to go, because all the other ways just lead to the game. And this actually does load effectively like a new level for us. It's weird they send you back all the way to the start, though. But I guess that's the point, right? Some buttons require multiple people to activate. But it's not a multiplayer game, it's a single player game. What could it mean? Okay. Music, music, music. Is there like a vent around here? There's a vent in the door. Oh, the stairs. Yeah, this is new. Squiggly circle around the corner. Toilets on the stairs, all very good. Are we, are we doing an endless stair mode? Okay, B2. B3. Yep. B4. B5. Alright, how long would they do this before there would be some kind of joke? B10, right, surely? Okay. Let me climb one set of stairs and see if... Yeah, okay. It brings me right back up to the top, so that has to be endless then at the bottom. And the door coming here did say stairs, so if you think about it, it's not lying. It's a good thing food and water aren't a problem here. Haven't felt hungry at all. Not to say I wouldn't turn down a good meal right now, but it's not necessary, if you get what I'm saying. God, I would kill for some linguine right now. Gonna draw some stuff. Got a lamp. Some squiggles. And something. So they put the toilets there to basically be memorable, because from this point, the game now just kind of loads. So I'm probably at a trigger point there. So that's the toilets. What's the furthest I can see the toilets? It'll be probably when I cross this threshold here. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm trying to trigger. I'm just wondering if there is, like, something I can notice in what we're doing. Alright. It's a shame there's not any music going on right now, but I kind of want to see how far down this goes. And I might just speed up this bit of the video if there's no payoff to this joke. Because we went down to 11 last time. I 
And it's not necessarily a hard joke to do either. You would just have to have the text change and then the player, not position, but the player position in the stairwell effectively change each time they hit like a clipping point. So if I, I've gone past B14 now, as soon as I lose sight of B14, so on this kind of tile where it's dark as well, all the game needs to know is the floor I came from, the floor I'm going to. So it's going to go, okay, B15. From here, when the player gets there, I'm going to have it swap. So the player is effectively on this tile or this tile. On the stairwell. They don't change my position, but that's why everything is so uniform. And there's a flower pot in the corner, bin in the corner, flower pot in the corner, level. Flower in the corner, bin in the corner, flower pot in the corner. So it's all very repeated, which means that you wouldn't really notice that they changed the level around on you. As long as they're maintaining like a particular direction with it, and you don't feel like a sense of inertia from the level moving. It's a good little exercise you could do if you're, like, making a game yourself. Make an endless stairwell puzzle and it will help you create inertialess kind of player movement. Um, and you can also experiment with how you would do something like an elevator system, how you would do an escalator. Just everything that moves the player and whether it still feels nice to be the player as it's happening. The fact that it's not a huge commitment going down in the levels, because you take one stair flight up and you're you're done, makes me think that this is just a joke because the level is called stairs. So, you know, there's probably just a load of stairs. And presumably you could generate this forever, because all it's doing effectively is that one click and you know swap routine and changing this text value because it's the only thing that changes in the room b35 part of me thinks we go to 100 right it's got to be like an achievement for getting to 100 if there's not i'll just stop then don't worry this is all going to be sped up in the actual thing Nice. Very nice. Okay, it's floor 99, and I've had no positive, you know, like, influence or encouragement to suggest that this is going to result in anything. But we're all going to check floor 100 together. We did it. I'll check 101, just for the sake of it. Okay. I don't think there was anything to do here. I was, I was hoping there'd be, like, a reward, but I figure after 100 attempts, I'm pretty sure there's nothing. All right. Where do we go from here? That's the question. What does that say? Oh. Okay, another one of these. Another tic-tac-toe. Oh! I still do have my hammer! That's good to know. Log 3. Hard to really estimate how long we've been here so far. Kind of difficult to keep track considering, you know. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe a day-ish. I've been trying to tally on here, but I keep forgetting that I'm even trying to tally them, so it's pretty inconsistent. We should be rescued soon. I'm going to put a doubt on that one, my dude. Appears to be an elevator. No button, though. Ah, Retic Game Engine. Chairs do not enter. Okay. Is 
Is that a chair? It appears to be. What is this? Danger. Chair, chair, chair. Chair, 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 chair. Stay back. Beware of the chair. Danger, chair, chair, chair. Watch out for that chair! Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, that's a lot of chairs. There's a red box. Might be the lighting. Beware the chair! Flush that toilet. Okay, let's go. Stop oh. playing now. All right. Uh, we have a hammer. Ha! Ah, I see you found one of my little Easter eggs. It's my cat, Oreo. He's actually one of the big reasons I got into game development. I wanted to feed him premium cat food, so I started making games as a side gig to afford it. Obviously, it's expanded a bit past that. I own a company and everything now, but uh, yeah, kitty. Oreo, the cat. Oh, and a bucket. I wonder if that is a reference. I'm all for cat-based uh, or, or cat-influenced or encouraged game design. Whenever I see boards now, I'm like, I can hit that with a hammer. Apparently not much else I can do with a hammer. Oh, a debug room. No, 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 get out of there. That's for developers only. This is confidential JMC Enterprises material. That doesn't look like much is happening here, my, my dude. I'm going to try to get to the other levels. There's a debug room near here. If I can get over there, I just might be able to load into level two. Or it'll just erase me and create an exact replica of my consciousness in level two. Best not to think about it. I told Nick and Owen to stay here, just in case anything goes wrong. Was a level three? No, oh, wait, what's this? Hello, this is Matthew Stanton, and I'm the lead developer at JMC Gaming Enterprises. My figures. And oh. Document as much of it as I can. Hence, devlogs. Not really for any particular purpose, just kind of for fun. So anyway, today is March fourth, uh, and I've made a hallway. Not really much to it yet, but baby steps. Chris is writing the story again. I think he said he was going for more of a crime noir type feel, so that should be interesting. Like mafias and stuff like that? I don't know. Sort of all we got right now. I'll try and do these every couple of days. Should help me stay productive. Hopefully all goes well. Alright. Door. 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 Button. Nice. Only one of them plays music. Where's that noise? Oh. Be careful of ceiling tiles. What is this, alien? Where am I? Oh, Nice mate. going. Since you couldn't be bothered to just listen to me, now we've skipped an entire level of the game. You know, the whole reason you're here, to test a game. You just skipped a third of it. There's going to be a driving minigame, and you'll never get to see it now. How does that make you feel? Uh. <sighs> Whatever. Let's get back on track and play through this level. Since you missed level two, you'll need some context for this next bit. <clears throat> After escaping the apartment and fleeing the city in a van, you've reached an impasse. A huge concrete wall blocks your path, and the only way around it is through the dangerous sewer system below. Will you venture into that? Oh. Words cannot describe how upset I am right now. So what is that now? One and a half levels skipped? It's probably more like one, two thirds at this point. 
Look, I'll go in the sewers if you want, mate. Oh, it won't let me. Never mind. What is going on here? By the way, the room coming up here was supposed to be a celebration of you completing the game, but since you skipped a good 75% of it, I don't think you really earned it. So, when you go in there, just pretend you didn't see it and we'll go back and finish level 2. Will do. Uh... I see I've got one of those New York apartments. What's in the shed? What's in the shed, man? You tell me if there's something weird in the shed, right? Oh. Oh, I can't use my hammer. Oh, there's a button in there. Why can't I... Why can't I interact with the shed? Why is this door so big? None of it makes sense. You know, I appreciate the footsteps changing noise. Alright, well. The end. Wait, Matthew, you're in a, a time loop? What is all I've this? I've never seen it being deleted, so that's why there was a lot of I remember this. What's a TV? TV? Am I even... Am I fucking real? <laughs> ah. Congratulations, you've been the video game. Thanks to your triumph, the developers have been freed from the time loop and the AI is no longer a threat. Rest easy, you found all the secrets. Exit the game forever, use the door behind you. Well, let me turn on my flashlight. There's something giving a weird texture behind there. What if I stand behind the text? No, that's just a 2D plane with text on it. I see. Very well. If I stand here, I can not see it at all. There you go. I still don't know what that is that's shining over there. It's probably just a... Like the this is the texture generating light, and then that light is being shined off reflective textures behind it. What am I gonna do now? All right, well, I did it. Quick, click this. What if I want to play again? Hi, what? my um. I thought we played this already. I did. Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton. I'm I'm I'm. Uh huh. Uh, what are we running? Hey, I'm T. Dot Max FPS. Oh wow! The frame oh, rate sure is bad God. for a playtester. We better go check in the game engine and make sure everything is working. Sound good? Let's hey, go. Please, please fix the FPS at the very. Li oh, thank God. Ah, much better. Low frame rates make me queasy. Yeah, you're not so wrong. So, you know what a game engine is, right? It's what games run on, the, the framework for how they work. The, w whatever, you get it. Yeah, anyway, like Unity, we'll Unreal. Ours real quick, just to make sure everything is all hunky. Or just the general engine that they've made out of those two platforms. Earlier, it isn't. Uh, by the way, this is all proprietary, so just pretend you didn't see any of it. Also, don't touch anything. I've not signed an NDA. I talk about all of this. Oh, Retcon. Oh. The, the name of the engine is Retcon. Lovely. Alright, what's going on here, lads? Okay. Doesn't look like there's any cameras. Alright, now that we have some privacy, playtester, I, I don't like you this. need to tell me what the hell is going on here. We were just in level three. A hundred percent, that is what happened. And then, puff, we were back in level one. Like it didn't even happen. The weirdest thing, I remember you using the debug room to get to level 3, but I also remember you playing through level 2. And what's up with all these cameras everywhere? I didn't set those up, and I doubt any of the other devs did either. Someone or something is watching us, and I have no idea what it could be. Whatever it is, I didn't think that they'd buy that excuse with the frame thing, but I think I bought some time. I'm going to try and find some info in the game engine. Hopefully they don't catch on before we can find something. Let's see here. Oh, it's a companion cube. Ah, you type it. Some level generation thing. Uh, recordings. That looks normal. Uh, ah. Temporal beta processing device. That doesn't sound familiar. Let me see what it is. Oh. I don't have access, apparently. That's weird. I own the company. I should have perms. Oh, there's a button. 
I wonder if this is the thing that added the cameras. Maybe it took away my admin too. That's worrying that it can even do that. Well, if it did. Performance. It's been better. Yeah. I don't really see anything else here. Uh, other than that temporal thingamajig. Just keep looking around. Maybe you can find something down here. Button. Uh oh. Oh my god. Why did you just do that? I told you not to touch anything. Where is your... Where did you get a hammer from? Uh... Alright. Calm down, nephew. Uh... An easy fix. It's... It's just a... Oh, a this device. isn't good. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. I thought you really broke something bad there. Speaking of... Congratulations, JMC employee Matthew Stanton. You have acquired one JMC employee credit for fixing an outstanding issue or bug. Good job. Oh, nice. Okay, sorry. Um, Congrats. I forgot I added that. Anyway, I wait. Wait, playtester. I just got an idea. We're gonna have to go back to level one. Oh. Just act natural. All right. Oh, it sure is great that we fixed that thing with the frame rate thing. Now we can get back to playing the game completely normally. That's good, that's good. I imagine casually. Why would you say the word completely normally? Come on, man. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no, this was the... Let's just check, make sure it is some ah, cat thing. so you found one of my little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're no fun. Boo, boo, boo. Uh, the debug room was in the lobby, wasn't it? Which hey, was... it sure would be bad if you went into the staircase in the corner of the lobby. Oh no, 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 no! Whatever you do, don't, don't, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Damn it! I don't usually trust the narrator, but this reverse psychology is working really well on me. Interesting, interesting. Bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. Boop. Nice playing along. I'm very casual, thank you. Retcon game engine. Tip, 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 tip. Tip. Just a tip. Good. All right, here's the plan. So remember that message that came over the intercom earlier? The congratulations, JMC employee, blah, blah, blah? That's from a system I made way back, and apparently I forgot to remove it. Back during development, we had a lot of bugs and stuff that had to be fixed, but nobody was actually fixing them. So I made a system where if you fixed a bug, you'd get a credit. And if you got enough, you'd be able to increase your access permissions until you get, well, admin. Somebody okay. fixes enough bugs and they become an admin. But come on, we're an indie team. What's the worst anyone could do? Anyway, when you smashed that panel back there and I fixed it, I still got the credit. Even though it's an issue we created. So if we just go around breaking stuff and then immediately fix it, we should be able to get enough credits to get the admin access back. And then we can figure out what the temporal beta processing device thing is. Kind of embarrassed I didn't think of the loophole earlier, to be honest, but hey, my ineptitude pays dividends. Alright, where are we going? Hi, this is Matthew, and today is March 7th. We're making pretty good progress. I've made some more hallways and rooms. Not really sure how I should do the layout or anything. I'm kind of just making it up as I go. I think we have four now. Dave modelled a toilet for practice. I stole it and put it in the starting room, and now it's a bathroom. The wonders of modern technology. Minor hiccup, though. Nick and Owen are trying to convince me to switch engines to a new one called Ice. But I figure we're already in too deep, and it wouldn't be worth it. Also, I don't want another castle view situation. That sucked. So yeah, things are going alright. We're still trying to figure out a title for the game. Right now in my files, it's just called Toilet Game, since we haven't thought of anything else. Toilet Simulator? Come to us eventually, I'm sure. Alright, that's all I got for now. See you again in a couple of days. Alright. Never mind. I was kind of hoping that that would lead somewhere, but... Alright, do we just have to change this lighting to dynamic lighting? Why does the staircase just end? 
and this way is blocked. All right, this is unsafe. My flashlight doesn't work. Which is worrying. Okay, that's not good. Playtester, just don't move. All right. I've got the layout for this area pulled up. Uh, I'll try my best to guide you, but you need to do exactly as I say. I can't tell which direction. By the I'm way, moving. this room may have explosives in it, so what just are you talking? What? All right, take six steps forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. So far, so good. Turn left, right, right. Turn right and take, let's say, eight steps. Right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Turn left. Take five steps. Take two left. more, actually. So seven steps total One, there. Not two, the seven three, we took, but four, just seven. Five, six, seven. I took seven. Oh, this isn't good. Eight. Nine. Oh, hold on, that's actually, actually that's too far. Uh, take three steps backward and turn right. One, two, three. So that's four steps from where you were at. Then take a right. Unless you already took those steps, which I don't know if you did because it's dark. In which case, go backwards seven steps and then take four and go right. One, two, three, four, take five, four six, steps seven, forward. Seven, right. One, two, three, four. Oh! Playtester, are you good? I think so. Okay, I'm lost. Right. You took. Wait, I can just rebuild the lighting. What am I doing? Dynamic lighting doesn't work here, Matt. Matt, what are you doing? Dynamic lighting doesn't work here. Oh, uh, I guess I have the wrong layout. Right, let's find something else to break. Oh my god. Congratulations, esteemed JMC employee. Matthew Standen. You now have two JMC employee credits for your incredible bug fixing achievements. Keep it up. Well, I guess rebuilding lighting would count as a fix. This plan might actually work. There's oh, no door. You want to fix that? Let's keep going. Ah. I don't want to be a playtester anymore. I'm sure I'm glad you uh, didn't break anything while you're out of bounds. Uh, just don't do it again, all right? Don't do it again. I'm acting. Okay. There's a cat in that room. Oh, that's new. Can Matthew follow me in here? I'm not hearing anything from him, which is not usually a good sign. Okay, that goes towards the camera. Be whoop, be whoop. What's in here? find the parts. Glasses, which I picked up, a torch, and a, a, a battery, a couple batteries I guess. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be here because I picked up the glasses somewhere else entirely. Dave says he has an idea. He thinks that if he can jump in front of the playtester during a loop, they might wake up and might be able to help us stop the loop. He's going to try it soon. I think it's a bad idea, but he's insisting on it. This is a bad idea. Alright, well, I don't see anything here. But good to know. If I find some batteries and a torch, we'll be all good. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh, and this is just a... This is just a level two. I don't know where... I don't know where that goes. I'm going back in this. Oh, I'm getting myself all turned around. There we go. You know what, Playtester? This level is starting to bore me. Let's skip to level two through that secret pathway that I definitely added intentionally. We need to figure out why that's there, by the way. We need to figure out why, why what's there. What are we talking about? 
Are we talking about the one that's here? Level two. The girl from Ipanema goes dancing. Something went wrong. Please try again. Well, that's that's not good. Distract me. Wasn't here. Nothing still. So we're in level two right now. Hey, uh, fun fact. Did you know that we added a secret area to the warehouse? Yeah, it's right behind that door with the boards on it in the corner. You should go check it out. I did. Elevator? Hmm, down is usually a bad sign. If you find an easter egg, please report it to the developers. And they can get points for fixing it. elevators still work. We haven't used them in ages. I think I only need two more credits to get admin, so let's be quick about this. So if you remove the L and the E in level, or at least the second E, you can make evil design. I want you to playtest. That's quite a fun joke. More radio. Means it's quite good. know where I'm going. Matthew here. Today is September 27th and we're finally doing the first playtest for Toilet Game. Fortunately, we were able to get someone. Uh, I think their name was Vincent. Nick says he knew them from college or something. I, I'm not sure I'd buy it, but it's, it's not whatever. Me. Anyway, this should be here any minute. Okay. So Vincent was clearly the first victim. button and here she is the beating heart of well i was gonna say all our levels but it's honestly just made a few rooms here and there anyway this generates area layouts for us if we feed in some data on what we want them to look hmm. like i what personally don't use it do much take a Most photo of it good at what it does hey no shame in breath oh. attention possible data leak in level design wing Shutting down all level design processes. Ha! Take that, Nick! Your generation code sucks! Data leak must be destroyed. Dispatching takedown bots. That's uh... Good. Damn it! Um... I'll delete them from the hard drive. Try send effect detected. Ignoring data leak. Oh! Huh, oh, well that worked out. Right, by, uh, by me, talking uh, about the data again. leak, it makes the data leak more interest, more important than it was. Congratulations, Tandon, Matthew, for your hard work of patching glitches and bugs. You now have three JMC employee credits. Yeah, 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 we get it, we get it. Right, playtester, one more to go. Don't screw up now. Oh, we're doing it, nice. Ah. So, playtester, what did you think of that secret ending in there? Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it was alright. My favourite part was when you... The, uh, you know, that thing. Anyway, let's get back to playing the game. Sure do love playing the game. Not worrying about anything else that's happening. I love video games. I need to find the glasses and the battery. They'll be here somewhere. Tell you what, there was only a few rooms left after the warehouse in level two, and I don't want to. What? Oh, I interrupted him talking about something quite important. Only a, a few rooms in warehouse two, something, something. 
I think he wants me to go this way. I'm making an assumption. Worst case, we might find the other stuff here at some point. The torch and the batteries. Wait, I have a torch. I have a flashlight. Surely I just need the batteries then. This game is in development, so there are catastrophic bugs. Yeah, makes sense. It's a very shaky elevator. Log 1. TV has gone rogue. I don't quite remember what happened, but we're hiding in a vent. I... Toilet? Toilet something? Surely. Uh, I'm in here with Owen and Nick right now. I have no idea where everyone else went, especially Matthew. I figured I'd start doing these while we wait to be re ready to get rescued. Something to pass the time. Also should help me remember what's going on here. What if this game didn't have a narrator originally, and then one of the developers just became the narrator? Oh, stairs. That looks like a bird with a big mohawk. Alright. Uh. How did I end up here? Hi, my name is Matthew Stanton, and I'm the lead develop- Wait, why are we back at the start? Did you do that? Whatever, I guess uh, just play again. We need all the feedback we can get. I have a feeling I wasn't supposed to do that. But I kind of want to go back there and see if it happens again. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, what? It restarted us again. Right, Matthew, I'm scared. You. Are you doing this? No. If it's a glitch, how did you do it? That Hold on, let's try again. I didn't do it, Matthew. I want to go hang out with the cat. Oh, the doors are locked. It's still doing it, and it keeps happening sooner. It's oh, like lightning strikes. Whatever you activated that caused this, you need to get back to it ASAP. We're talking memory leak levels of bad if we don't get this sorted out. Oh, we can't even get out of the oh, hallway we'll before it, it happens now. Just no clip me, Matt. And it's still getting faster. This is really, really bad. Oh, this isn't good. Let me out. Let me out. Impending doom. I'm flushing the toilet. Help, toilet! Help! Hello. I'm Matthew Stanton, one of the lead developers of the game you're currently playtesting. Was that? So, was that like tester. Cry of Fear for a what moment? What did you think of that secret ending in there? Pretty cool, right? My favorite part was when you... The, uh, you know, that thing. Anyway, let's get back to playing the game. Uh, I don't know what that was, man. I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm not going in there, I just like destruction. Tell you what, there was only a few rooms left after the warehouse in level 2, and I don't want to waste your time, so let's just skip to level 3. Head into the debug room. It should lead right there. Gotcha. Let's go! To preserve the proper air temperature, the vents must be clear of obstruction. That means you. I made uh, it. Y you know what? The sewer section is pouring anyway. Let's skip to the house. I went into the sewer section. I didn't wait for you to finish. I can hear Matthew now. Mystery solved. He hasn't been deleted, but he's talking like nothing is happening. He keeps doing his little intro. Hi, I'm Matthew. I make video games. Blah, blah, blah. Does he actually have no idea? How? The playtester also seems clueless. I haven't really been able to see them much besides uh, the slits in the vents, but they don't seem very concerned either. What is this, Half-Life? Oh, a fishing rod. 
What do we get? Come on. Something going on the end of this hook. How many times do I gotta do this? Isn't that to give it slack? Wouldn't I need to go the other way? How do I make it go the other way? Alright, never mind. How do I... Can I hop up on the chair and over? How do I... This is this way, but how do I get there? I have a, I have a hammer, but I... There's a little railing I could get to, all I just need to... I'm just not even moving anymore. Hmm. Maybe this just leads nowhere. And now we know. And knowing is in fact half the battle. Well, to the house. What about down here? What does this go? Never mind. Wait, those are the Half-Life, like, dev commentary boxes. I want a phone. Bring, bring. Wow, even, even fly sounds for the dumpster. Nice. Oh, better yet, go check out that shack in the backyard. Yes. I a little Easter egg in Finally. there. Finally. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's even open. Nice. Look, if I go in here, there's a button. Boop! Good. Thought that might have been a bit too subtle. Go check out the shack. You thought that might have been too little. Tip! Do you remember the 21st night of September? Where are we going, Matthew? Sure does look like right, a makeshift Francesca, corridor. Last stop. What's this? Set the clock. Ooh. So... What was that? 12 and 2? And then it's 1 and... 5? And then 12 and 2 again. 12 and 2, 1 and 5. Issues. Safety. Tech. Cause blood. Stability. Will probably cause bugs. Game runs on internal clock. Verdict, bad idea, but must not something. I'm sure it's fine. Memory, this is where we cause memory leaks. Ignore the signs, I know what I'm doing. I don't. Nick, just forewarning you that I had to remove Matthew's admin for the whole, you know, if he just brings it up, just shrug and say it's a bug and you'll deal with it. Don't, obviously. Hmm. I have a feeling Matthew's going to learn something that they don't quite like. Is that like an Easter egg around here? Feels like there would be. More fridges? We keep the servers in the fridges, keeps them cool. Good to know. Okay, I think this is just set dressing. I don't think there's anything valuable here. Or if there is, they've done a really good job of hiding it. Anything? I don't think so. I think we're all good. Let's take all the long way around. I mean, there's a door, but we can't go through the door. Memory time! What do we do now, Matthew? And I'm in. Right. Let's see if I can break some references or something in here. Shouldn't be too... Hello. 
Hello, Ma Hello what Matthew. What the hell happened? Was I don't know, Matthew. Actual memories? I wait. S something like this. It what do we do? Before. You went to this weird area and then. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Don't again. Play just a this.